Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. I'm going to show you how to install Microlink extensions, not only on yourself, but also on a client. We're going to start with removing and replacing extensions. So what I'm doing is using a plier to open up the Microlink. You slide it off the hair. You take off the little link, take off any hair that had fallen off from the time that you placed it in your hair and the time you take it out, what you're going to do is re-glue the top of the hair, blow it out because it is hot, and then roll it back up. Roll it, roll it, roll it. Make sure that it is all glued because you don't want it to go back in your hair and it not be fully glued and you'll have hair strands just falling out. Roll it up until it is all perfect. Then take the comb again and comb out any glue residue that was left. And as you can see, minimal hair falls out doing this extension method, which is why I love it so much. Clip up the hair from the top so that no types of hair can get in the way. Get your section. I always do a U, so I little scoop it up. And make sure that it's within the section so that when it grows out, nothing will have it like pulling out when you're brushing section off the hair from the bottom so nothing gets in the way. Twist the hair so that way it can go in smoothly and no flyaways will go out. Insert the hair inside of the link. Pull the bead up. Make sure that the micro link and the hair strand is aligned. Make sure that the bead isn't all the way up that it can't move and make sure that the, the eye tip extension isn't too far up that it will poke your hair every time you put it up or down. Now I'm gonna show you how to take hair from a track and make your own microlink extension. Now, normally they have only straight hair. I like a body wave, so I make my own, I take tracks, and then I make my own as I'm doing right now. I get the keratin beads and the microlinks from Amazon. I got my glue gun from Amazon as well. And you just do the same exact thing. You roll it, roll it, roll it. Make sure that it is all glued, especially when you're first making it. Make sure that each strand is glued and inside of that, that glue um, portion that you put together. Roll it all up. Make sure that it is smooth and that it is small enough to fit into the bead. Cut off any excess so that it doesn't poke you. Comb out your hair and then figure out where you want to put it. And remember, you would want to have at least a little section of hair that is covering the hair so that way no beads and no tracks or no um, eye tips show when you put your hair up or when you put it to the side or when you put your hair over your ear whatever you feel like doing, that it does not show. Same, same exact way, clip under, clip over, twist the hair, pull the bead through, and then insert the eye tip. Make sure that the bead and the eye tip are aligned. Make sure that the eye tip is not over. It's not too much over and everything is perfect. Clamp it down with some pliers, clamp it down really, really tight and then you should be good. You have to clamp it really tight or else it would slip out. You go up, down, all around, and she will not come out. And as you can see, she is covered. No matter which way you put it, she will be covered. Now let's go on how to do it on a client. So first off, you wanna comb and section off your hair. Make sure that you leave out at least an inch from the perimeter. Comb out every other portion. Clip out any extra hair that will be in the way. Make sure that the parts are clean because you don't want any type of flyaways anywhere. Clip up all of the hair that is not going to be used. As you can see, that is the part that I have and that you should always use. And you should always look at the way that, that the client's head is shaped because some people have a thin hair and you don't want 
to put extensions where there is a, a, a thinning area. So take the eye tip, there it goes, comb out the section, again, leave out an inch, do the part, I always do like a U, a baby U shape, again, twist, put a clip under so that nothing will get in the way, take the little um, loop thing, feed the hair in, put the bead on, I put a blonde bead so you can actually see what I'm doing since the video camera is not so close. The beads come in different colors. They come in black, brown, and blonde. And the same thing, put the eye tip in. Make sure that the bead is aligned and it's not gonna be too tight. And then clamp right down. And that's how it is. And she will not go anywhere at all. Comb it through and then keep on doing it. But as you can see again, even with the blonde bead, you will not see anything. I love this method so much. It's good for people with thick hair, but if you have thin hair, you're probably gonna be able to see the, the bead. So it's not really for everyone. And that's really it. You could put it behind your ear and you won't see anything. Thank you guys for watching.